I taped them all down so they won't move. So we have three eggs left. So I'm kind of wondering now what's going to happen. So, okay, we'll start in another minute. Hi, Miss Rena. She's back. Hey there. All righty. Where's Emma? Where's Jude? We like to see the kids. He's joining in right now, and Emma is in her car seat. So, Emma. Okay, well, let's get started in just one more second. We have a couple more people joining. I know we had just all had lunch, so we're kind of just letting people finish up here. So, all right, how do I make myself on this thing? I'm still learning how to work this thing. I don't even know how to do Ah, there we go. Okay, I have to flip the camera down in just a second. All right, well, I'm, I'm Mary Kate Masters, and if you were there earlier, yep, John taught you to make a rosary. That was really fun, but we're going to finish up our resurrection eggs today because what's tomorrow? Everybody say, what is it? Easter. That's right. That's right. So we're going to finish up our eggs, and you know, we did nine eggs yesterday, and it told the story of um, Palm Sunday. Holy Thursday and Good Friday. What happened on Good Friday? Jesus died. That's right. That's right. So let's gonna find out what's gonna happen today. So I'm gonna put the camera down so you're not gonna see me again, but you're gonna hear me. Okay, so I'm gonna go all the way down. See if I can get this right. I'm working on it. There we go. Oh, and yeah, I got the rooster to stand. I was very happy about that. So okay, so we have what three eggs left? One, two, three. Okay. So if you are doing this at home today, you wish you can, um, you're gonna open up, the next one we're gonna open up is the blue one, okay? So we're gonna open this up, and what's inside of this? It didn't make any noise, I'll show you that, look. You see this? It's called a, it, I know, look at this, it's called a linen cloth, okay? Now why do we have a linen cloth? And I'm gonna put this where you can see it right there okay well let me read you our story and we'll talk about that and if you have any questions you know you can ask me that's okay it's perfectly fine okay now this is after jesus died remember he died on good friday and this is after he died this is what happened when it was evening there came a rich man from arimathea named joseph who was also a disciple of jesus he went to Pilate and asked for the body of jesus then Pilate ordered that it be given, given to him. And Pilate took the body and wrapped it in a clean linen shroud, which is the cloth. Oh, now you can't see it. Sorry, guys. There we go. Okay. And laid it in his own new tomb, which he had cut out of the rock. Now, Joseph, he had a property where he did this. He, he had tombs for people, so he built a brand new tomb just for the body of Jesus. And he rolled a great stone to the entrance of the tomb and went away. After Jesus died, a man named Joseph asked if he could bury him. This was a brave and loving thing for Joseph to do. Remember that the men who killed Jesus did not believe he was the son of God. You believe that? But Joseph did believe that he was a son of God and he wanted Jesus to have a proper burial. Joseph knew this might get him in trouble with the soldiers, but he was brave and asked for permission anyway. Joseph wrapped the body of Jesus in the cloth right here and buried him in a tomb cut out of rock, like a shallow cave. Joseph went away sad because Jesus was dead and he wondered what would happen next. And you know, everybody, the apostles were sad. It was such a sad time. Holy Saturday was a very quiet, sad day. And is today Holy Saturday? Yes. 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 Saturday, so it's kind of a quiet day, right? Because Jesus died. Okay, so we're going to open the next egg. You ready? This is the pink one. So if you have this egg at home, or if you have a different color resurrection set, that's okay. You can open up this egg with me. Oh, look, this one makes sense. Let's see what's inside of this. Okay. So 
and we have, what is this? What is this, you guys? It's a stone, right? Hopefully you're going to put this. This is a little hard with the camera, but I'm going to get it placed. Hold on. There we go. Get in there. No, come this way. Okay, I'm going to put stone there. All right, so why do we have a stone? Let's find out. And behold, there was a great earthquake. For an angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled back the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning and his clothing was white as snow. And for fear of him, the guards trembled and became like dead men. Let's find out about this. The stone was rolled, remember the stone right here, was rolled in front of Jesus' tomb and was much bigger than the stone in the egg. It was as big as a door and probably weighed more than a car. That was a big stone to push, really heavy. After Jesus was buried, special soldiers were assigned to stand guard at the tomb. But these men were no match for God's angel. It took just one angel to roll the stone away. The guards were so afraid that the guards fainted. Where did the angel get his strength from? From God. That was pretty cool. Look at that. The angel came. They have a picture here. I'll show you. See if I can get the picture in here to show you. Can you see that? The angel came right down and moved that stone away. Okay, so we have the last egg to do today. What do you think's inside there? Let's find out. This one's white, right? Okay, let's shake it up. See what's inside. Look, nothing's inside of it. Hmm. Did I drop anything? Nope, nothing's inside of that. Christy, what do you wanna say? I see you raising your hand, you're so cute. What do you wanna tell me, Christy? Go ahead, you have to unmute yourself. Because um, in the Bible, Jesus, from the dead and he moved the tomb and I mean and, and he, he it's when he rose from the dead and the tomb was empty that I think that's why the egg is empty. that's right okay let's find out good job I like your answer and you know what you are right okay here's the final and then I'm going to tell you something special about an Easter egg that I learned today when two women came to the tomb of Jesus they were surprised too the heavy stone was rolled aside and the tomb was empty. Jesus' body was not there. The angel told the two ladies, he has risen. Jesus has come back to life. But the angel said to the women, do not be afraid, for I know that you seek Jesus who was crucified. He has not here. He has risen. And as he said, come see the place where he lay. This was the promise that Jesus made to his disciples after their special dinner on Holy Thursday, just a few days ago, that he would die, but would come back to life to show those who believed in him that they would live forever too. Someday, because Jesus died for us, we can meet him and thank him in heaven. And that's the story of heaven. And it's all true. And I'm going to show you the picture. I like these pictures. Right there. There's the angel, see how the tomb? That's the tomb there, and the stone was pulled away. And there's the angel appearing to the two ladies. And that's the end, so give yourselves a big clap. Say yay. Now, I'm gonna tell you something. I just got an email on my phone. This is, must have been a story from God um, about Easter eggs, so I wanna read you about this. It said, Christians, for Christians, eggs became a symbol of Easter and the resurrection of Jesus. In the past, Christians gave up eggs for Lent. Did you know that? For 40 days before Easter, they would give up eggs. They wouldn't eat eggs, they wouldn't do anything. But even though people didn't eat them, the hens kept laying them. So people would hard boil eggs and decorate them. That would help preserve them longer and serve them as part of the holiday festivities. 
So a lot of you are going to, if you haven't done it, you're going to color your eggs. Your mom hard boils them and she goes to a lot of work to do that and keeps the shells intact. So this is why we celebrate Easter with eggs. It's a wonderful symbol of Jesus's birth, renewal and rebirth. This is something wonderful to consider as springtime approaches and when the earth comes back is in full life. So remember when you have an egg, remember this. I'm going to take one egg and put this egg back together now, hopefully. So I want you to think about Jesus. And this represents Jesus' life and that he came for us and he's coming again. The end. Did you like our story? Did you like it today? I did too. Yeah. yeah. We loved it. I loved it too. It was really fun doing this, actually. I'm so happy all of you were able to join me. I know some of you come back today. But do you have any questions or anything? Do you have any questions, Christy? Mm -hmm. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I'm happy I got to understand. That's my happiness today. <laughs> he wouldn't stand up yesterday. Well, you know, um, the other thing I was going to tell you, mom and dad, um, the resurrection eggs, they come from this company called Family Life. And if you go to, um, I don't know, Annette, if you can put this up on this. I just found this out. Um, it's familylife.com slash kids. And it's capital F for family, capital L for life, slash kids. You can go on there. They have, and you have to scroll all the way down. You have to subscribe and then scroll the way down. They have like a 54 page thing that goes along with the resurrection eggs. It's all kinds of activities and things. But at the very end, like on page 34, they have a coloring sheet that goes along with each egg. So I looked that up today. So if you have time and you want to do that as a family, that's another activity you can do um, to go along with the eggs. So anyway, I want to thank everybody for joining me. We want to say happy Easter. Tomorrow's Easter and we're so happy. But remember when you see your eggs, think about Jesus and everything he did because he loves us so much. Let me see anybody else. What do we want to say? Oh, what happened to the bunny? Do you know what happened to the bunny? <laughs> no. Bunny and eggs. Give us your other cultures who don't celebrate Easter. Oh, um, I do know, I think that yes because uh, i teach school you know and children ask this question i think um one reason why bunnies come into easter is because you i see a lot of babies being born in screen no, i saw an easter bunny today bunnies, that kind of mm. thing so i think that's what happened people saw baby bunnies coming and they, they like easter. so i think this is why bunnies are part of the easter tradition so now we have eggs, we have bunnies. That's why you'll see lots in Easter time, you'll see baby chicks, baby birds, um, baby bunnies. So that's part of, I think, why you have an Easter tradition that goes on. Um, but really, we know it's about Jesus. We're so thankful to him and we love Jesus. Um, thanks, didn't mean to ask you in front of the kids. Well, that's okay. <laughs> Because when you see baby bunnies, say Jesus. Yep. Thumbs up. I like that. All right. I guess I'll put, all right, I'm going to put myself back up so I can say goodbye now if I don't drop the camera. Hold on. <laughs> this was a big challenge for me. All right. This right here. All right, my friends. Well, happy Easter. And, you know, we're going to have church tomorrow with Father Pat. I'm excited about that. Remember. When you see an egg, what did you say? Think of who? Jesus. Yes. Right. Say happy Easter. Okay, say happy Easter, everybody. Happy, happy Easter. Easter. Tomorrow. Stay Keep doing the mission today. We've got awesome things. Oh, and you know, we forgot to remind you. Um, if you made your rosary today, or even if you didn't, remember we have rosary at five o'clock today. And you can use your rosary that you made today, or you can just bring any one that you want. Okay? And we'll see you later for Bye. 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 Thanks for coming. Bye bye. Bye, Matthew. Bye. 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 Is Matt there? No. He's in another meeting. Oh. Look what I have.
Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Nice bracelet. Thank you. Adios. Adios. Bye. It's supposed to be a small rosary. Okay, now I'm leaving. Oh, sorry. Bye. Bye. Hey, Anita. Hello. Okay, let's go see each other. Okay, let's see.